There are many different brands and types of overgrips for tennis rackets, so which do you choose? In this video, I'm going to cover just that. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to cover overgrips, and hopefully by the end of this video, you will learn more about which overgrip you should choose. So overall, there are two major types of overgrips that you can choose from, dry and tacky. The first type is if you tend to have sweaty hands while playing tennis. You know who you are. Maybe you've even launched the racket out of your hands because of that lack of grip. Bottom line is if that's you, the grip you should be checking out is turner grip. That's the gold standard for overgrips for sweaty hands in tennis. Turner grip is the blue grip that's most often seen while watching tennis on TV and well known for the phrase, the light blue grip that doesn't slip. It's especially used in hot environments where people's hands tend to get sweaty the most. And that's why the texture of the grip is described as dry. P. Sampras was endorsed by Turner Grip back when he was playing and helped to make the brand of Turner Grip the icon that it is today. You still see many players using it to date, such as John Isner and Karolina Pliskova. The next type of overgrip you should consider is if your hands don't sweat while playing or if they do sweat you know, a very small amount, which is normal. For those of you, the gold standard is still the Wilson Pro Overgrip. This is also the overgrip I personally prefer and it comes in many different colors, such as white, green, orange, pink, silver, and yellow. It's super thin and very tacky. Um, and the major name of the player who's using this is none other than Roger Federer. Also, to others wondering if different color overgrips affect the feel, to me personally, only very slightly, but I'm pretty sure most people will not be able to tell the difference. Also, I tend to stick to the traditional white Wilson Pro overgrip because it becomes very obvious when it needs to be changed. Further thinking about it, we touch our grip while touching the tennis balls as they roll all over the court um, and pretty much everywhere. Sometimes they go outside. So it's important to make a habit of changing your overgrip when necessary. And to me, that's every three to five, one hour hitting sessions. And also that is dependent on conditions as well. Other grips that are similar to the Wilson Pro Overgrip are the Yonex Super Grab Overgrip, which apparently is made in the same factory as the Wilson Pro Overgrip. Also, another consideration is the Bablat versus Original Overgrip. And I'll have links to each of these overgrips down below in the description for you all to check out if considering. Also, if you did find value in this video, I would truly appreciate it if you guys click on that like button down below as it helps to spread the message of this video, which will help a larger audience who can help learn more about tennis. And if you guys have any questions that I can answer, don't forget to leave them down below in the comments. All right, I will catch you guys in the next one.